Welcome back to Derm Engine. In this quick start guide, I'll be showing you additional features like adjusting your patient access settings, documenting a procedure, and navigating the pathology inbox. This is your homepage, where you'll see a statistical overview of your practice sorted by action type and diagnoses per month. You can access a patient's profile by opening the patient's list, then searching for them by their first or last name. Once found, simply click to go to their profile. On the left side, you'll notice a 3D body map showing all of the patient's spots. Like the phone app, you are able to click and drag the body map to view all of the spots with ease. Right-clicking a spot lets you relocate it, add a procedure, a quick pathology request, change that spot type, or color code that spot. Below the body map is the spot list, where all of the recorded spots for that patient will be. You can sort the spots by clicking the body icons. You also have the option of sorting by date created or last modified, depending on your preference so you can always locate the spot you are looking for. Next up is the notes feature, which allows you to add notes to a spot. You can tag a colleague to view the case by typing the at symbol followed by their name. Also, you have the option of sharing your notes with your patients by typing at patient. Now that you've learned how to share a case with a patient, let's visit your account settings to customize what your patients can access. Here, you can control exactly what information your patients can view. If any of the boxes are checked, your patients will be able to view this part of their file. For example, if you have the All Notes box checked, all invited patients will automatically have access to their notes. Let's head back to the patient profile to document additional information, such as procedures. Simply click Add Procedure and select the type of action performed. As you can see in this form, you can document as many details as you'd like, with clinical diagnosis being the only required field. If you select Add Pathology Request, it will take you directly to the Pathology Request form. Simply select your vendor, lab, diagnosis, and add your notes. You also have the option of filling out the fields like the intent of procedure, specimen type, and surgical management. If you are integrated with your pathology lab, this request and all associated images will be sent directly to the lab. Alternatively, you can print this form out to send along with your specimen. A quick tip, to save time in your clinical workflow, instead of documenting clinical diagnosis, procedure, and then pathology request, you can easily do all of this by just selecting quick pathology request. Now, let's head over to your pathology inbox to see what this all looks like. Simply click pathology inbox at the top of the page. Here, you can view all of the patient's information relating to their pathology report. If your lab is synced with DermEngine, the pathologist will be able to update the status and diagnosis for you to see automatically. If not, you can manually add a pathology diagnosis. Once complete, you can schedule an urgent appointment or a routine follow-up by pressing the Add Task button. You can conveniently notify your patients that their reports are ready for review. By choosing the SMS or email feature, you can type your message directly from your computer for quick and easy communication. If a case is complete, you can mark it as done to fade that row to help organize your pathology inbox. Next is the timeline. DermEngine's timeline keeps record of all actions and notes you've made for each spot. On the top right side, click Timeline to view it in more detail. You can see all actions performed on specific spots or patients and create customized PDF reports. If your patient management system is integrated with DermEngine, you can click Export to directly sync the systems together. Now that you've learned more advanced features on DermEngine, you're well on your way to improve your daily clinical workflow.